Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the garage gym and what you actually need and could possibly use in your garage gym. Uh, so first, you need a garage or a carport. So this is a standard two-car garage, um, as you can see over there. Uh, we just back out one of the cars uh, when I want to work out, and the other spot for the car is taken up by the actual gym portion. Um, all right, so I got a fan. We're here in Florida, so it gets hot. Even if it doesn't get too hot, I recommend some sort of ventilation. Um, to just keep air moving around. Uh, the main piece of the gym is the rig, the squat rack, and a pull-up bar. This one um, is not rogue. It is uh, manufactured locally, so we saved on shipping. Um, it's an A-frame, so both the frames are leaning together, and it meets up with a pull-up bar at the top. Advantages of this, it doesn't take up a lot of room. It has a pull-up bar and squat rack. Uh, but none of the rogue attachments will fit because it doesn't have the hole spacing and the beams are at an angle. Uh, one thing to keep in mind on this to make sure that you have enough clearance for the pull-up bar, make sure it's high enough that your feet don't touch, but that you can clear the top if you want to do muscle-ups or chest bar pull-ups. This one originally was not in this garage and our old one had a higher ceiling. Um, it has the weight um, holders at the bottom so this one is not mounted into the, I didn't drill into the concrete of the garage. So the weights actually uh, save space and it also holds it to the ground if I'm doing a lot of kipping pull-ups or toes to bar or things like that. I do have a couple steel weights. Um, those are generally cheaper than the bumper plates. Um, so I have a set of 45s, 35s, 25s, 15s, and 10s for the bumper plates. And after that, I bought steel 5s and 10s fives, two and a half, and extra 45s for extra weight because when it gets up to that weight, I'm just squatting a deadlift and I don't need a ton of bumper plates. Um, I have three bars. I only use two of them. I've got the women's bar for my wife and I've got uh, my bar um, both for about $200. I've got my first bar was a beater bar. I bought off Craigslist for $50. Um, when you're starting off, the bar really doesn't matter too much. Uh, you see I got rings. Uh, these have a lot of variety into the things you can do. You can lower them and do uh, like ring push-ups. This is the dip height. You can raise them up um, and do ring pull-ups or muscle-ups or things like that on there. Over here I got a box. Got two boxes. These boxes can be 30 inches, 20, 4 inches, and 20 inches depending on the size. Uh, so they really can be three boxes in one which is nice and I can use them like a table if I'm not actually using the box in the workout. I got a 55 pound kettlebell um, and I also have a 20, 32 pound kettlebell. Um, those are the, the standard weights for men and women for most crossfit workouts. That's really all I need. Got a, a Bose mini sound link for music, pretty small in here. So I just Bluetooth my phone up to it um, and it definitely gets loud enough. Uh, to drown out the pain when I'm doing workouts. And I got a stopwatch um, in here. You can use a wristwatch or get a stopwatch. This is actually one of my first CrossFit coaches gave, me, gave us this. Uh, this is from the CrossFit Games because he was the judge there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then I got trash cans. So behind you, right here, I put up some plexiglass to protect the wall from handstand push-ups. Um, and it also doubles as a whiteboard so I can take dry erase markers and write on those if I need to. Uh, what else? I've got two ad mats over here. Uh, one for me, one for my wife, and a set of dumbbells as well. Um, chalk bucket, Home Depot, pretty cheap to get a bucket. Chalk is cheap. If you're the only one using it, this chalk will last forever. Um, so you don't have to buy a whole bunch of chalk. And I got the Rogue bands to do warm up, warm up stuff with, mobility stuff. Hang it from the, the bar, attach it to the rig, and then for warming up, got two pieces of PVC pipe. It's about five feet, um, about the width of a of a bar to do warm up stuff, get some pass throughs, practice some lifting with those. Um, it's pretty much all you need. You can get some fancy stuff um, or just the necessities. That's what I have in here. Uh, so if you want to find out more, if you got any questions for me. Follow me on Twitter at Garage Crossfitter, uh, FGR, uh, not fitter, and f look, check out my blog, Garage, Garage Crossfitter, 
www.tumblr.com. Thanks.